In this video, I'm going to share with you four common mistakes that people make while they're suffering from sciatica pain. In addition, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you what you need to do in a step. The first mistake that many of you guys make while you're suffering from sciatica is that you're trying to constantly stretching your hamstring muscle. Hamstring muscle hugely can increase the tension in your sciatica nerve, and by doing that stretch, you can hugely aggravate your symptoms. And instead of stretching your hamstring, I'm going to share with you a daily mobility at the end of this video that you can follow daily for optimum results. The second mistake that many of you guys make while you're suffering from sciatica pain is using foam roller and foam rolling your glute muscle. Foam rolling can hugely aggravate your sciatica pain because the sciatica nerve pass through your glute muscle and it can hugely get compressed by foam rolling and it's not gonna really help you to recover. In reality, it can actually aggravate your symptoms. And instead of foam rolling, I'm going to share with you a mobility routine at the end of this video that can maximize your recovery. The next mistake that many of you guys make is manual therapy and massage. Manual therapy and massage can hugely aggravate symptoms on your sciatica, especially if you directly apply pressure with the elbow or deep tissue massage. And in very acute phase, you do not want to get any type of manual therapy and let your body to do the job and recover by itself. And instead of manual therapy, you need to move and find out what are the activity and movement that gives you more mobility and blood flow to the area. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you series of movements that you can start right away. The last mistake that many of you guys make is complete rest or prolonged sitting. You do not want to sit while you're suffering from sciatica pain. Why? Because that pressure can hugely aggravate your symptoms and instead of just resting, I'm going to share with you some movements that you can do daily for maximize your recovery. I'm going to share with you a series of exercise, guys, that you can do instead of those mistakes that I share with you at the start of the video. And this exercise can help you to reduce your sciatica pain get you more mobility and get you back in action. The first move that I'm gonna share with you guys is gonna be cat-cow movement. Very simple, but very effective in help you to mobilize your lower back and your mid back. This movement get, give that flexion and extension to your lower back. Now, while you're doing this movement, your hands gonna be underneath of your shoulder, your knee is gonna be underneath of your hip, and you try to hugely maximize comfortable movement, which means don't push and overextend or flex your back. As you can see, I'm just going to a bit of flexion and then extension. While I'm doing this, I would highly suggest you to breathe in and out and practice this movement for three sets of eight to 10 repetition as often as possible. The second move that you wanted to apply is back extension or McKenzie. This exercise, if you're suffering from sciatica, can hugely help you to get that extension movement, get more space in your lower back, and get you back in more comfort. You're gonna lie down on the belly. The first position is just simply be on your elbow uh, in bed. And you try to simply from this position, coming back up to the elbow, that creates some sort of extension in the lower back. You're not pushing every lower back, you just literally on your elbows and most of your weight is on your elbow. You breathe in and out, hold it there for five seconds if it's comfortable, then you can go back down if you wish, or stay there for 15 to 20 seconds and practice this two to three times. Now, if you find this is easy, you can simply do a mini push-up, which means hands comes next to your armpit, slowly come up, make sure to don't overextend too much, guys. So back down. Hold it there for three seconds. Most of my weight is on my hand. Back down again. We repeat this to the point that you can come slightly higher, but avoid lifting your hip off the ground. You wanna practice it for three sets of five. Hold it there for five seconds throughout the day as often as possible. The following move that I'm gonna share with you guys is gonna be rotation. Rotation can hugely aggravate your symptoms, but you do not want to avoid it. How you can reintroduce rotation? I'm gonna show you a very simple technique. 
which is you're going to be on quarterback position, hands on the knee of your shoulder, knee on the knee of the hip, and you're trying to bring one arm around the neck, just gently hold it there, and you want to get that rotation in the lumbar and mid-back, mostly around your thoracic, and we want to literally just get that comfortable rotation within a range that feels comfortable. You don't want to lean back when you're doing this. You want to stay forward, yeah? And try one side for, let's say, five repetition, be in a comfortable range, then try the other side. Breathe in and out. You might get even some cracking on the back, which is beneficial. Simply be in a comfortable range. If you find your hand is not comfortable here, you can hold your hands here, yeah? And try the same thing in a different way. It's the same thing, it doesn't make that much difference. Practice these guys for three sets of eight, either side throughout the day for maximum recovery. The last exercise that I would highly suggest you to try if you are suffering from sciatica, rather than stretching hamstring or gluteal, with the foam roller, you want to do a flossing technique. This flossing test technique can help you to really get that nervy pain and that sensation from the glutes and the sciatica down to the leg, reduce that and help you to be able to walk, move much easier. We presume that the left leg is the one that is got affected. We want to relax the other leg. We want to bring this knee gently towards the hip, not too high. And you want to gently hold the back of the thigh and we try to flex and extend the knee within a comfortable range. Now, if your sciatica is an acute sciatica, you might not be able to go too high. Don't force it. Go within a comfortable range, really gently. You want to create just 10, 15, 20 degrees of flexion and extension, yeah? And you can immediately feel tightness and stretch around the hamstring but this is not a passive stretch, it's mobilizing your sciatica nerve and give you a lot of basically pain relief. Now, they've done a lot of study on this movement that simply nerve flossing can help you to alleviate that nervy pain and radicular pain down the leg. I would highly suggest it to try it. You can try it on both sides, but throughout the day, three sets of eight to 10 repetition been in a comfortable range and you can see the magic. If you're suffering from sciatica pain, I share with you in this video what are the tips that you should do and you shouldn't. And if you think you need more assistance, you can always book an online consultation with me and we can get you started on a customized plan right away. If you find this video helpful, make sure to subscribe my channel for my weekly updates and make sure to press that like button. Until next week, all the best.